So we go back up to the start for the final race of the afternoon session between the University of London Boat Club on the left of your picture and Multi Boat Club on the right of your picture on the Buckinghamshire Station in the Town Challenge Cup for Open Women's Coxless Fours. And, uh, well, I have to declare a club interest here being a Multi Boat Club member, but uh, also spent a lot of time at University of London. So inevitably, um, favourites in both crews on here. Good start. Multi crew had a very uh, tough semi-final, yes, or quarter-final against Leander. They were down to Leander at the barrier. The crew who they beat at the recent Henley Women's Regatta in the semi-final of that event too. Yeah, really coming off that high of winning, winning Henley Women's Regatta and then Again, that gives you a great platform to keep building, keep building, keep building for this event. And they're looking strong there, definitely already starting to show, take the race by the horns. So we're moving down the course and you can see that Molsey have maintained that lead over the University of London. University of London have uh, lost one of their rowers from the crew that uh, were narrowly beaten by Oxford Brooks in the semi-final of the Championship Fours event, Henny Women's Regatta, New Legenen. So, uh, Ali French, George Statham, Emily Lindbergh and Isabel Powell are the four athletes here, but New Legenen uh, got into the under-23 trials and Pete Shepherd, the coach of the under-23, said any athlete selected, they couldn't come and row here because it was too much to ask after having done Henny Women's under-23 trials and then Henny Regatta. So, they've had to cope with uh, a different four that rode at Henley Women's and Molsey are taking advantage of that fact. Their athletes, two of them, are selected in the FISU Championships. And that is uh, Emma McDonald and uh, Rebecca Edwards. And the FISU Championships in Shanghai are later than the under 23, so they can boat all their crew, Kath. Mm, it's pretty harsh, isn't it? Some of those judgments, they're very fine judgments to try and make sure that athletes compete for international races. And of course then that can be a challenge at this part of the season. So definitely Moles have got a bit more crew cohesion, haven't they? And you can see they're, they're levering, they've got more, more length, a bit more. They're picking up kind of behind the pin, we would say, the angle at the front in which the oil is entering the water. They're, they're picking up more water per stroke in effect. That's making a big difference in their speed. Well, Phil, Bur Phil Burgundy on the Molsey coach, I mean, A, he's done a fantastic job with the Molsey programme. This is the first uh, Molsey women's crew to pre-qualify for the regatta, club crew to pre-qualify for the regatta. He has, he's had an eight in the remnant. And they're really building up a fantastic programme. He's looking to recruit rowers. If any uh, women are looking to do club rowing, Molsey's one of the options, I guess, you know, that they should consider. And the other interesting thing about Phil, in terms of technique, I think he is influenced by this kind of you know, slight pause at the finish that Ian Wright, the coach of the successful Australian crew that uh, set those records in the ground earlier today, just to pause the blade, the body at the finish, and then just have that gather and just go into the catch the front end quickly. And Phil's been working on these Molesy women with that technique. And I think that does give them a poise and a togetherness. They've been interchangeable in the, in the crews throughout the season. Although these are the fastest four women in the Molesy setup. Yeah, it's looking great, isn't it? And I mean, it's so exciting generally to be seeing more women's fours racing. You know, now it's back in the Olympic programme. I sort of feel, feel a little jealous that we didn't get to race Cox's fours at the international level. And you know, just seeing more women's fours out, it's inspiring. These girls, you know, are thinking maybe there's someone in, from both of these crews who's going to be racing in, in the Cox's four at the Olympics at some point. Well, certainly it was won by the Dutch under 23 crew last year. And. Uh Several of those athletes are in their senior team this year. So that's the standard of this event. We're looking at the Surrey-based club crew from Molsey on the top of your shot, leading the four women, Ali French, Georgia Statham, Emily Lindbergh and Isabel Powell from the University of London Boat Club, coached by Hugo Gulliver. And uh, it does look like the Molsey crew have used their power. Mm -hmm. To, to good effect. Katie Bartlett in the stroke seat, such good experience the 24-year-old has got from the under-23s and uh, Rebecca Edwards. Likewise, really experienced in the under-23s, Lucy Trimmer in the two-seat of Molsey, 25 years of age, and the youngest in the boat, Emma McDonald, the 23-year-old in the bow seat. 
looking really strong. Great to see. I really like that style. It's very much, you know, they're powerful, but they're efficient. So, as you say, they're really, they're travelling in between the strokes very well together. And, of course, there are two ways you create boat speed. One is the power in which you propel the oar through the water, and the second is how much you let the boat run in between. And, and they're doing a great job on, on both of those factors that create the speed they're getting. Yeah, well that, that's another thing Phil Bourguignon's working. So, you know, pressure on the uppers of your shoes. So, you, you know, you keep the weight off the stretcher until right at the last minute and you've just got that nice transfer. And these women are really skilled at doing that. And that's what they've worked on on the miles you reach. Throughout the season, they've raced in Ghent. They've gone to Ratsaburg to race the regattas there. A lot of international experience. And that's all under their belts in really good effect as the Nozick crew come into the last few strokes of the Town Challenge Cup for Oakland Women's Cops 4s. They beat UL 